and a super or so originally the meru people are known to have come from central africa where most of the bantu speakers come from well apparently they settled uh, the slopes of mount kenya former eastern province wadao when they arrived there there were only one particular group ilikuwa tu ki group kimoja kikubwa sana but in 1992 they were divided into three administrative units nyambene meru central and tarakanidi my people the word meru uh, literally means ile region mali wanaka and also the tribe the language they speak sasa kwa meru but uh, the word meru means shining star you know like dazzling kitu in a shine yeah in anga again my people the meru have nine subs like ndani yao is the meru bado wako like in nine different groups kuna igoji kuna imenti tigania mitine igembe mwimbi mudhambi chuka na dharaka watu wangu hakuna story kuhusu origin proper ya wameru so mimi nitawapatia leo ka story kadogo interesting kulingana na myth yenye ninajua haya kama ninaendelea kujipanga panga hivi ndio tuanze story do not go far labda unaweza taka kujua mambo pia ya mira stuff like that sizo ndo tunajulia wa meru so our story today is going to be interesting grab your mug of coffee and let's do this long time ago the ameru people were working as slaves walikuwa na kuna group ya wasee walikuwa wana work under the guys were known as the red people no one really knows how the red people came to be and no one knows how they ended up being slaves with the red people so kitambo sana kabla most of you mzaliwe the ameru walikuwa slaves with the red people how are red people ndio walikuwa like wana rule hiyo place yenye hizo slopes ama rather hiyo place yenye walikuwa wakiishi the Ameru people did not really have a problem who were slaves. Walikuwa wame agree na hiyo arrangement na walikuwa too proper like all men knew wana work under the red people they have to go every day in the morning kulikuwa na soldiers wana wa gather pamoja wana wapeleka job hivyo jioni wanarudi wanarudi makwao but as slaves but walikuwa tu ni sawa wa kwa peace na hiyo agreement. Sasa one day huyu leader wa the red people akaamka akaita na meeting akatuma ma soldiers wake waende kwa ile community ya Ameru mali walikuwa wameachwa wakae wawaambie kesho ameitisha mkutano soldiers wali oblige na wakaenda wakaambia wasee eh kuna vile boss amesema kesho kuna meeting wakajipanga wakakuwashua sasa wanaenda wako ready kwenda kumface but hawakuwa wanajua ni kwa nini wameitwa wote unajua kitambo walikuwa wanaitwa labda tu wanaume peke yake but hii meeting ilitwa wa mama watoto na wazee wameru wangu ndio hao shua 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 asubuhi hadi kwa mkutano kufika unajua sasa ni slaves hawezi kaa podi moja na hao wasi wengine so wao wameka huko chini wanangoja kupatiwa Kenya wame, wameitiwa kuambiwa kidogo kidogo the boss amesimama jamaa red let's just call this person red person so amesimama akasema order akawasalimia akawaambia they've been doing a good work kwa farms wanaendelea poa na ana appreciate lakini kuna vile aliona Wameru wana multiply tu sana. Ah Wameru nikao walikuwa wanazaa sana. So haikumbamba akaamua pana tufanye hivi. Kutoka leo. Hao mama wote kwanza wakasema hebu nyinyi msonge hivi wale hao wote wako na ball hao. Hao wako pregnant. Songeni hivi akawaangalia. Akasema sasa kutoka leo itakuwa hivi. Mama yoyote ambaye atazaa kijana we kill that boy. As in literally hakuta haikuwa tena na hiyo hiyo nini generation yote ya maboy yenye anazaliwa wanauawa wa manze ah slaves walikuwa scared walikuwa worried like una imagine mumefanya everything that was needed amjai kukeuka like hiyo 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 rule law yenye ile kwa hapo nyinyi slaves unafanya job yenu vile inafahamu narudi home you look down you know you guys are just doing your best alafu all of a sudden because mnaza sana ameamua you guys will be killed wa Hey jamaa kuna jamaa hapo alikuwa hapo hivyo kwa hiyo mkutano akasimama kauliza why nini tumefa eh hey, kwanza aliyekuwa alichapwa 
sit down hakuna kuuliza maswali tumeshaamua na tumesema hii ndivyo itafuatwa kutoka leo kukizaliwa kijana tunaua wasichana ni sawa hawa hatuna shida na wao eh meeting iliitwa hivyo ikaisha hivyo na wasia wakarudi home it was a really cold day for them you know like walikuwa wanajua the more the guys you know kila mtu anajua labor work hii kazi hard hard manual inataka muscle sasa umsee akisema hataki macha, machali eh sio kama wewe unafikiria kama mimi kumbe hata boy child alianza kusafa kitambo anyways wakarudi wakarudi home na maisha ikaendelea like around two weeks later hivi kuna u madam anaitwa Nkirote Nkirote alikuwa na ball ilikuwa tu imefika alikuwa tu ameyani amejaa yake yote yani ah amechoka ah ilifika tu time akaona eh hey, sasa juu unajua sasa kitambo by the way you guys unaona sasa hivi the way we go to hospitals unaweza angalia sex ya mtu hii you know you know to shop kitambo hakuna kitu kama hiyo wewe unaza tu kenye umepatiwa na god the blessing eh hey, umama akaona eh hey, hapana Unajua wa Afrika wanakuanga pia na wiza. Unasikia mtu akisema niko na hatba na najua wewe unaza msichana. Ukisikia ati oh, huyu mtoto analala sana. Unajua wewe unaza kijana. I don't know kama nyinyi pia mnakuanga na hizo but yeah, some tribes have that. Songi rote. Ai. Akikaa tu hivi huko kwa nini kwa kwa maji huko kwa kulikuwa na swa hapo. Kuna hizi nini zao umea kwa maji uh, reeds. Akaza tu kuivika basket, anafunga funga. Most mamas know the Moses basket, the one that we you know put our kids when they are wadogo wadogo like this like that, comfort and all that. So yeye akaanza tu kuivi yake. Eh hey, uko tu ni mbimbo zake za kimeru, zina mbamba, zina mbamba, akatengeneza kake na akamaliza. Wow. It was done and Kirote had already done her basket, you know, for her child. Oh. Siku zikaenda 2 days, 3 days, the fourth day Mama ikafika masaa. Hey, katumbo kameanza. Nini? Water ika break. Eh hey, huyu akajua hapa ni kubaya. Na ukumbuke hayuko ashua anaza nini bado. Akajificha. Akaishia kwa forest. Alingangana tu peke yake kwa forest mama akaza. Oh my god, alizaka kijana ka handsome. Ish. Alibarikiwa na mtu hii boy. Hey. Boy child ndio huyu stress nine ndio hii mambo ni sasa kuanza kuficha mtoto nikirotea kwa kwa msitu peke yake but kulikuwa na wazee wawili walimsaidia ndio you know akwe tu sawa ni nini na akarudi kwa kijiji but sasa ukumbuke mtoto akizaliwa kijana wana mada so ilibidi yeye yeah, ametengeneza mtu wake poa amemclean ah oh, and just like that akampatia jina alimuita mwithe kamfunga mwithe poa akamuingiza kwa ka basket kake <sighs> Mazi, i can imagine her pain you know like nine months zimeenda you've done your best you've delivered and then you're being told that mtu wako ataenda tu hivyo hai 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 haya akaangalia mtu wake akamblesa akamuombea you know na aka hand over kwa the elders wenye walikuwa wamemsaidia ku ku deliver ah oh. It is not easy for a mother to just you know leave that child like that na ende. Na ujui nini ita happen. Hata ujui kama wasio wanaweza kugeukia wapeleke huko kwa red people. Uwezi jua. But yeye tu aliwa trust. Akawapatia mtoi na akawaambia can imagine you know she's looking at them sad and saying this is mude. Please take care of him, protect him, you know and all that. Well. Ya yeah, karudi kwa kijiji. At least alikuwa anasikia kupoa but you know yo yo sadness iko tu kwa nini yake anafikiria tu mtoi wake vile atagro huko kwa forest nini akipata kitu kidogo anapeleka huko kwa forest at least wana feed mtu hii nini nini and the boy aka grow mwithe turned into a very handsome boy alikuwa blessed alikuwa na kama wale watu wenyewe wanakuwa na superpowers apparently alikuwa anaweza ongea na god direct akiwa tu atabado mdogo kama ana grow huko kwa forest anaweza ongea na god ana prophesy anaona vitu anakuja anaambia au elders elders wanaenda wanaambia watu uko home mwithe alikaa kwa msitu aka grow akapatiwa responsibility yende akakuwa sasa sia akakuwa prophet na akakuwa kukiwa na shida kwa land ya Wameru mwithe ndiye anaenda anapelekewa anaongea na god alafu anakuja anarudisha majibu time and again anakaa tu akisikia you know guys his age were killed 
kesho yake mama mwingine anajifungua kuna masoja sapo wanangoja watu hii wanachukua tu it was just merciless like they didn't care wana watu hii so boy child alikuwa tu Siju, ama inaweza kuwa ni ndo connection kuna kuanga na boy child wa less like compared to him i don't know but anyways story twendele so one day mwithe hii story ilimsumbua tu sana na kwa sababu alikuwa ameshapatiwa powers amepatiwa amevalishwa hiyo kinini sasa yeye ndio yeye ndio ka, ka god huko kwa wameru amekatua amekalishwa you know he eventually came from the forest akakuja kukana elders by this time kulikuwa na wale elders walikuformiwa tu kwa kijiji kwa kila kijiji i think tu hata kama saa hizi vile kuna nyumba kumi elders kulikuwa na nyumba kumi so kulikuwa na wale elders walichaguliwa ndio walikuwa na lead the miru people so mwithe aliwa join kama elder by this time uh, akitoka sasa kwa msitu akiletwa kwa 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 nini kwa village walimchange jina wakacha kumuita mwithe wakamuita komenjo ile kitu nilikuwa nimesa kukuambia mwithe inamaanisha the hidden one sasa si unakumbuka story yake ya bath vile alifichwa yeah so mwithe basically ni the hidden one lakini sasa walipomleta kwa kwa village na wakamchukua kama elder akaitwa komenjo komenjo inamaanisha like the prophet like he can see he's the overseer like eh hey, hivyo sasa So one day Komenjo akaona aite meeting akaita council of elders sasa wale wa Wameru hapa ndani unajua sasa nyumba kumi yao akawaita akatulia akawaangalia akawaambia my people i feel like this is just unfair why should we live and just you know lose our lineage like boy child ndio atatusaidia to expand i don't think our say wako on the right So mimi naonelea sisi kama elders twendeni twende tuone umse twende tumwambie hii ni unfair na tuko willing kufanya anything lakini atuachilie tu watu wetu waendelee kuzaliwa na wa, waishi eh how of course unajua kuna wale ma elders hapo wenye wako like um, atuko sure kenye wanasema but uh, sijui kama watakubali lakini we can try so uh, Three of them were elected kulikuwa sasa na Komenjo unajua sasa yeye lazima aende kwa sababu yeye ni leader alafu kulikuwa na Mushai alafu Kauro wakaambiwa nyinyi watatu hivi nyinyi muende mseme muende kwa hao uh, red people mwaeleze vile mnaona alafu mtakuja mtuambie information yenye wame vile wamesema so wakakaa chini ya watatu wakasema vile watenda wa approach waonge nao wakajipanga 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 wakalala asubuhi kuamka sasa unajua nani aliamka kwanza komenjo akaongea na gods akawaambia oh tunaenda kupeleka hii na tunaomba ikubalike nini nini so akakuja akachukua watu wake wakaenda pa 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 baka kwa red people eh hey, huo boss amekamali anaona kila mtu so kufanya hivi anaona wase watu watatu huko wanakuja wachafu wachafu hivi akatumana wewe wewe e, bwende uambie wasimame hapo wakae hapo na kuja kwenda wakasimamishwa wakaulizwa ni nini mnataka boss anauliza mnataka nini wakasema tunataka kuongea na yeye kuna proposal tuko nayo kama ata agree tusikie so kamoja kakakimbia hapo saa kaeran boy kakakimbia kakaenda kamwambia oh wanasema wanataka kuongea na wewe sasa sijui kama wakuje akasema sawa ende uite mmoja ita ule mkubwa hapo kaeran boy kakarudi kakawambia haya nani mboss hapa so komenjo akasema ni nini Kauro sasa yule kaka mika kabestuka hivi kidogo but akamwambia wewe twende kashikwa mashati shoshwa mpaka kwa boss akarushwa hapo chini akaulizwa haya habari yako wewe sema unatakaje so kalikuwa kamestuka stuka hivi kidogo kamwangalia akamwambia ah so me and my people tumekuja hapa kukuuliza kama kindly unaweza tuachilia tu kwa hii bondage like we will work for you guys Now we'll do all that. Lakini please wacha ku, ku madama boy child. Tuachie tu please. Ah, una imagine tu say alibangala tuna arrogance vile. Ah. But anyways, akamwambia sawa. Hmm. Hebu ngoja nifikirie cuz uh, hmm. kuna vitu labda mnaweza fanya if you do them for me, it allow. Akafikiria um, I can imagine that labda akwa na kitu ya kufikiria cuz he knew what he wanted anyway. So akamwambia stand up fanya hivi itakubali 
rudi nyumbani uambie hivi i will allow your, your, your boy child kuishi lakini kuna hii randa moja mkifanya ni sawa tutagree i need a shoe kiatu kama hizi ya kala zangu lakini i think si ya kala cuz hizo zilikuwa zinafaa kuwa na nywele and then mtengeze kiatu yenye kona nywele side zote all round hivi na chini alafu mkishamaliza hiyo kuja uchukue hiyo nini nitakuwa nimekukubalia mnaweza enda mnaweza enda mudhaane vile mnataka hai 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 come enjoy hiyo ilikuwa ngumu akani imagine ameka hapa um, okay sawa boss tutarudi acha tukafikirie akarudi kwa watu wake akawaambia eh twendeni home kuna vitu lazima tufanye si twendeni tu discuss kufika kwa nyumba sawa dau haya twendeni teke teke tu 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 mpaka nyumbani walipofika home sasa si wakakuja wakaambia village village walikuwa wanaongoja wako like hey, wamefika kujeni sasa tusikie kile tumeambiwa kwa mwenye akakuja akaita council of elders kwanza akawaambia tumeambiwa ni sawa we are allowed but kuna hizi vitu lazima tufanye nikisharudisha then tuko na freedom akasema okay hebu tuambie ah hiyo tutafanya sisi tusha hasa la hii tushafanya hii kazi yote hii yeye zitushinda yakawaambia sasa wadau umse anataka kiatu na hii kiatu lazima ikuwe na nywele 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 hivi side zote pali ya kukanyanga ya kuvaa kila mahali so kuna mtu mwenye akona idea hapa nani hebu uh, tuambie uko na idea mshai unaonaje mshai yako ai hapo azi uh, hapo siko ai naweka uro uh, so everyone did not have an answer of how they will do this <sighs> Kaambia sawa nyi your Disney stand any home will deal up, will deal with it maybe tomorrow at some point. Eh yeah, jamaa komenjo yeye akatoka akaenda kwa ngombe zake kwenda kuziangalia. Ame relax tu hapo kwa kijiji ngombe zinaanza kuingia it is around 5 jioni zinaanza kuingia kwa boma nini nini. Akiziangalia tu hivi. Akaona ndume ingine hapo mzee ndume imenona nona hivi smart smart. Ilikuwa na nice staff hapa. East staff with all up here hapa hivi. Yeah akaiona akasema na hii staff iko na nywele nywele right kuna vile inaweza work that was that so akaitana akasema nimefikiria jibu and we are ready to do this so he called for people akasema wewe leta kitu ya kushona leta nini nini let's do this so kitambo unajua of course no needles and all that so ilikuwa unadunga na mwibo unashona kitu you know so waka, waka improvise na akaitana na akaitisha nini akaitisha kisu yake Jamaa ka approach ile ngombe ime kwa chini akakata hapa hivi. Akakata tu just carefully. By that time nikwambie wa Afrika pia ni eh hey, wako anga very sharp. So alikuwa anajua vile atakata istoe damu. Alikata tu carefully akatoa, alafu aka stitch hiyo yenye ilikuwa imebaki. Walifunga na by the way ngombe hata iku die ili survive. So akaenda na hiyo ka dual up ka Kenya amekata. Akaenda nayo kwa nyumba. Akaanza kufikiria vile ata make iko unaweza ingiza mguu na iko kiatu. And by the way he made it. Yes komenjo ni nani alihakikisha amefanya and it was a shoe so akaeka hapo nje like a day kakauka hiyo nini kakuwa sawa alafu akaita watu wake kauro na mshai si twendeni turudishe hivi tu eh hey, kijiji tayari kulikuwa kubeza kufikiria wao sasa tumepata freedom wa mama washaanza kufikiria eh hey, sasa at least eh hey, mtoto wangu wako safe ni nini majamaa wakarudi hadi kwa red people jamaa kaona ame approach kawaita eh hey, sawa kuja pita tu akam Eh akuja akapatia na kiatu kaambia boss this is the shoe. Eh. Hey, don't be like you did this. Ni ndo mtengeze eh hey, mko sharp. Wow, I'm impressed. Kaita Eran boy ashika hii peleka hapo kwa store. Sasa fanya hivi. Hii hii ni wise. Mmedupoa. But um eh hii ilikuwa rahisi sana ndio maana mme make. So inakutuma tena na assignment nyingine. This time round it will not be hard but eh uh, muta make si una si una kama umemeki hata hiyo uta mix ndio so sawa akamtuma na era number 2 so wewe comment wewe sasa hapa alikuwa ameanza kuona ai okay sasa eh hey, hey, sawa tuneni tu akambia mshai kauro let's go wakamka tu 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 hadi home ai wa mama uko tayari walikuwa nawaangalia hivi wanasema ah safi do frido ah tutoto tutakuwa nini nini eh hey. kwa menjo hapa alikuja na stress hata kuongea na mtu 
Hata haku wameambia mtu wote ni story gani ya meambiwa. Ye straight mbaka bed. Akalala. Kachili kidogo akawanda apana. This has to be done. So, akakuja. Akaitatena aka kale kakansolo of elders. Akawambia, eh hey, wadao. Kuna vile tumeambiwa. We have to produce an animal that can produce white chalk. Diatomite. So, kuna vile nimefikiria na sioni kai ni ngumu sana. So, nikuwa nafikiria hivi. Tufanya hivi. Kesho wa subutu kiamka. Ununa kale kangombe kandama ka smart smart hivi. Muniletea lafu ndaonyesha vile tuafanya. So, wadao wakenda wakalala. Eh hey, this guy ameanza tu kuwa eh hey, anaona hii inaweza kuwa ni kitu watafanya for long kwa sababu hawa white our red people hawakai kuachilia nika tu wanataka kuwa frustrate Anyway fast forward alikuja akasema haya sawa hiyo ngombe yekwe hapa akaita kijiji mzima akasema hivi kutoka leo kila mtu mwenye ana milk ngombe hiyo maziwa iko inaletwa hapa hii ngombe kazi yake itakuwa kukunywa maziwa itakula nyasi na itakuwa inakunywa maji itakuwa tu inakunywa maziwa Yenyewe sasa juka hiyo ni biology ama science but ili work do you know hiyo ngombe ilikunywa maziwa mpaka ilikuwa inaanza kutoa droppings za white yeah so walikuwa wanaenda ikipupu iki wanachota wanaenda wanapeleka hapo kwa kwa komenjo hapo kwa shed ikauke they did that they did that mpaka ikakuwa mob pile wakaweka alafu sasa waka crash waka crash waka crash waka crash wakaweka kwa nini ikakuwa ready ku kurudishwa ilikuwa imeshatoa hiyo okay basically Uki, uki, ata wewe ukipaswa na kunywa maziwa mobe kuna ile kudaria and then unaanza kutoa nini ya white so the same happened to the cow wakakuwa ready they were excited ah it has worked oh thank god oh my god this guy is a prophet for real wakachukua hiyo white chalk yao wakapeleka hey red people wako tu hapa kawa eh hey, okay kuja kuja mhm mm okay so akabwa eh hey, boss eh, ndio hii baketi mzima ndio hii hapa hivi ya, ya white ah how did you do kumenja kwambia tulikazana man lakini tume make na ah akachukua nani peleka hii store he's like eh hey, i see you're doing well ah they end up smile smile up like ah nice 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 and then the face and then he's like this was easy so i'm going to send you on another errand And then when you are done with this I promise you na ku, na ku promise by the way komenjwe mimi nitakuachilia nitawachilia na mtakuwa tu sawa I promise So akamwambia So end the show alafu mrudi ah, I can imagine the frustration yani komenjwe amechoka hii kwenda kurudi ah Anyways fast forward shwa 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 hadi nyumbani akaita pia yeye nini kamukunje Akawaambia wadau hii hata si ngumu Yeye ndio shafiri nimeshafikiria so fanyeni hivi Tumeambiwa kuna ile shimo ameka pale ile shimo ile amesema kuna fruit ametupa hapo ndani na hataki mtu aingie ndani hiyo shimo kutoa hiyo fruit na pia hataki tuingize kitu ito hiyo fruit anataka hiyo fruit jilete mpaka hapa juu peke yake na mtu asiguze Hiyo ni rahisi fanyeni hivi Ngerote organize hawa mama wote kila mtu akuje hapa na muende mchote maji Tuendeni pale kwa ile shimo hii tutahaka haraka sana hii hata ina pressure. Wadau wakaenda maji ikaanza kuchotoka. Maji ina mwongo kwa ile shimo. Inaletwa ikiekwa. The whole day shimo haijai. <laughs> Mchanga inanyonya tu maji, inanyonya tu maji. Hai, after some time a whole day imepita bado inanyonya maji. Like mpaka huko 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 sasa unaona huko huko kando iko karibu ku collapse. Ni maji imejaa ndani hiyo shimo ai akaona hapana fanyeni hivi tu, tuendelee kidogo juu i think sasa iko karibu sasa akaambia hata wanaume ndeni ndeni saideni wa mama tulete hii maji haraka haraka comrades power my friend maji iliyeko 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 mpaka finally fruit ilipanda okay najua ni mechanic fikiria hii fruit ni za kuwa gani yenyewe ina uzito but tuseme tu fruit ilipanda fruit ilikuja Mia masiubi ni fruit ilikuwa yellow yellow maybe i don't know but ilikuwa la, imeiva cause ilikuwa ifai kuprikiwa na hakuna mtu anafaa kuenda huko ndani kuichukua alafu ujue kwa hii hii process yote kuna masojas wanaangalia wa kueshua hakuna msali alitumwa hapo ndani they hacked it hata alitoa hiyo fruit aka hiyo asira hiyo furaha nini nini akaambia hata nioshieni mpelekeka kule saa hii osha hii matunda ikaoshwa kaambia watu wake kauro twendeni twendeni tupeleke hii fruit hata atuwezi lala nayo siku imeisha twendeni tu tupeleke 
How how how? Baka uko tena. Hey, this time I was like, oh my god, I hope this is the last time we are doing this. We are so tired already. Wakafika wakamba. Oh. Let me see. Uh-huh. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, how did you do this? The leg. And she just shut up. It's fine. Chukua wei, rusha uko kwa store. Hi. Sasa hii likuwa imekuwa kama like ni itakuwa tu hivyo. Ujoye ni errand number 3. Na bado sasa huo ni kama ajabambika bado. Sasa kamwambia um I'm sure that was easy because the fruit was very ripe. So I'm giving you another errand. But once you are done with this, hata mkuje na wamama sasa. Nitakuwa nimewapatia freedom. Niko sure. Hey, hey. Mm. Alikuwa na stress. Eh hey, jamaa kaangalia wazi amekuja nao. Ah. Oh. Kambe busongeni hivi. Nyinyi nyinyi ndio mnasumbua nyinyi ndio mnapeana hii advice nyinyi. <laughs> so akaambia jamaa wewe fanya hivi. Enda nyumbani ambia watu wako. Unaona hii rika? Hawa elders zao. Hawa si wazee wazee hawa. Mwachinje wote. Alafu hiyo damu mwahikishe inamwagika itirike kama stream inifikie mahali niko. Hawa utu tumzee mnakuja nao hapa ndio wanakupatia hii wisdom una wewe una ini. Rudini huko. Hey hey. Sasa hii it was getting interesting. Mm mm mm. Hai, mm. sasa mshai na Kauro hata waongei sasa na nani? Na comment wewe unajua hapa <laughs> Uki, ukienda mkasirisha hivi. <laughs> Wewe ndio unaenda <laughs> chini wa kwanza. So wanaangaliana tu hivi. Wakirudi kwa hiyo barabara wacha nikisho. <laughs> walikuwa wamempatia head start ndio asifikiria otherwise wao wako nyuma yake tu wakiongea sasa wewe ndio ulimkoseaga kuna wakati ulimkosea si ah mimi hapana labda ule mwingine hivyo 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 mpaka wakafika kwa kijiji umsa alikuwa na stress you basically being told hiyo council yako yote ya elders wa die plus wale wazee wote wako kwa hiyo kijiji kill them alafu hiyo bloody flow kutoka kijiji chenu hadi kwa boss He was really stressed. Um, he just went home, took his normal uh, gear ya kwenda kuongea na God na kaingia kwa forest. Alika kwa hiyo forest I can imagine na Minil na naongea na God I could like why ni I need I need wisdom I need knowledge ni nini. Ha. Akakumbuka. Ah, hii hata inaenda kwa rais. Akakuja home. Tena kaita ile Council of Elders akamwambia wewe kujeni hapa wadau. Do you know kuna hata mtu mmoja alikuja? <laughs> Kila mtu aliacha kukwa elder hiyo siku. Kila mtu aliona eh hapana mimi ndio mzee sana hapana wewe ndio mzee hivyo hivyo. So akasema hapana umse anataka kutuita hivi pamoja ndio atuue. Hapana twendi. Ai akaona hapa iwak so akaita mama yake akamwambia endo waite. Endo waite hakuna ile naua. Endo waite na basi ita wa mama wote. So waka, anyway eventually wakakam akawaambia This is the thing. I will not kill any of you. But what I'll do, we will create a place where I will keep all of you. Lakini kila mtu aniletee ngombe, mbuzi, kondo, hizo vitu zote zimezeeka. Kama ni nini, leteni hao wanyama wote. Leteni tuue. Lakini nyinyi naye amtarudi makwenu tena. Kutoka leo, that's it. You are going to hide him. Akachukua, akaletwa mangombe. Eh kwanza Kaura ungeona Kaura atakuwa na believer kwa like kwa hivyo si dai leo azina utuwi, si ndio? hata mimi ndo nakusaidia kuch- like mimi nachinja mbili aki mimi ndo nachinja hizo mbili like i imagine the excitement ah well ngombe zililetwa he did that whole slaughtering walikuwa wana wana hold your blood mahali so walichinja zile ngombe zote nze wanyama wale wagonjwa wagonjwa vitu kama hizo zote zilichinjwa but like so it was like a sacrifice you know but at least nyama walikula cuz ilirudi kudistributiwa kwa village watu wakakule nyama shere shere alafu sasa tule tumze tu wote tule tulikuwa tunaogopa ogopa tulifichwa so basically sasa kuna council of elders wote wamefungiwa mahali cuz wasifai kuonekana kwa kijiji wa kitembeo inafaa kuwa wali wao then when he was done with all that he opened the place and then blood kaanza sasa kuteremka ili teremka hadi kafikia ule mse like eh right before like okay. Okay. They are all dead now. So ilifika hadi mali alikuwa anataka. So Kaura hata alikuwa tu sasa kukomenjo hapo alikuwa anakuja tu hivi pole pole akiangalia tu akifuatana nayo hadi mali alikuwa anafaa kwenda. <coughs> Kufika hata akuongea alimwambia tu like it is done. My people they are all dead. I've done what you wanted me to do. 
So uh, please, just please allow my people to go. Like, please. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Eh. Hey, Ida mwenye mefika, but uh, okay. Ebu and then we inspect to Koyo Kijiji. We keep up to say, let any up. And then, the commander will go show at our time part. So I can be in any and then. Wakaenda, nothing. Kuja ka report. Boss, what you want me die? Yo Kijiji, clean. Akuna watu waze. Ni mavijana na ladies. Na watu hii, watu hii. Kambu wa sawa. My man, sasa wewe umeza kwa mwana ume sasa. So I like, like, can imagine he was looking at him like this. Um, ah, you've done a good job. So now, stand, stand up. So I'm come, 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 come. Come in, just like excitement. Come in, like build and enjoy. Oh, finally, we are done. Yo, ini kwa errand number four. Come on, galia, come on, bia. Ah, awesome, awesome. Um, so that was just like you pay any ini kwa word, but uh, dude, kuna kengi ne kamo jadu. I promise, I promise, after he, si kusumbui tena, na, na hii najua mtahak. Kama umehaki zingine zote, hata hii takuwa raisi. So fanya hivi. Enda uko kwa kijiji. Ambia wa se wako, nataka wanitengeneze spear. He spear, nataka ikie kwa chini hivi, kwa zinafa kwa yangu. Nikia kwa hivi chini sasa, naeza guza hapa, nari guze clouds. Mukimaliza hiyo. I'm done. So, uh, hey, ha. Komenjo, I look like, okay, serious, like, it's a work. Come away, away. Yeah, just go. See, you're not a kamzai. And then, hey, Jamal, I look like I'm this time, man. They, kumbuke elda zoto, I look like I'm mahali. So, ko yo bara bara, tu na imagine. No, no, I'm just going to do my own. I'm just going Stress, frustration, I'm just going to get less. I'm just going to say, my wife, Hai, akajua hii, hii, hii task ineza chukua a very long time. So, haku, haku wana hile time ya kupoteza, haka kuja, haka itana meeting. Wadao, kujain, kujain, kujain. Sayo, kumbuke hii kijiji, watu wengi wanaonekana ni vijana, vijana, na wa nini, na wa mama. Waze ya kuna. Kawambia sao kutoka leo, tutanza kutengeza spia. Hii spia inachongwa, iguze kutoka hapa, hadi uko. So, tukwa tunaenda tukikonect hivi na juu. So, tuta, tutanza, yani like, tutanzi ya chini hivi kenda tukiconnect alafu sasa ile tuna nimefika tusimamishe guys were like ah hiyo tunaweza hack i mean uh, it's not hard so wadau wakaanza kazi wale vijana vijana wakaenda kwa kwa forest wakaanza kuchukua mavijiti wanakuja wana zitoshanisha wanafungwa huku mwisho na ma leaves na manini na manini hii story yote ilikuwa like si rahisi so walikuwa na wanajaribu wanafunga hapa wanafunga pale hivyo hivyo wakijaribu tu kuinua hivi inaanguka like they did that for three days, it was not working. I come and joke on a pana, it has got any opposi sana. Aish, okay, Katino con a pana, a boot in any meeting kidogo. E work. So I can be a milkling and a villain on a mimi kama lida wenu, you know, a tuta way make putting it as an inny, his peer. So it's funny, Evie. Mina taka qua divide into three groups. E e e time, it will be too happy. Atuwezi shinda hapa, like, junajwata nikirudisha na ayo, bado watasema, high work, so, minu na tuhepe. So, wakambia hawa, masoja zuwa, kifanye ni hivi, inge ile store, chukua wale waze wote walikuwa, tulikuwa tumewa store huko. Chukua zile ngombe nzenze, zinye zikuwa zimebaki. Wamama wale wakona, you know, mimba ni minini, na watu wale wadogo kabisa. Hawa wase, wana ile root, piteni hapo. Nye nzeni safari. Tutakacha. Msi, msibadilishe barabara. Nye ndeni. Nitawafuata. Na nikoshua ata wengine tu. Tutakuja tupatani. Lakini kifika mali flani. We kuja hapa. Kam, kam, ushai, kam. We ndi onataka ukwe lidawai group. So, we utawapeleka. Mukifika pale kwa ile mtu. Unajua mpali mali mali mali. Haka wapatia, haka wapatia advice ni nini. Hapo. Musimame hapo mtungoje. Mbebe chakula, mbebe maji, mutakuwa sawa. Tutakamu. Nye ndeni. So waka wapatia, head start. So awa waze waze, wanyama waze waze pia, nini watu wadogo wa wakachua waende. Waka ishia. Second day waka amuka tena. Kasema faaya, ujue ni tena mkutano. Fanyeni hivyo. Um, awa mama wa mama, nini, all females. Sima meni hapa. Alafu sasa na wale mayuth wadogo wadogo. Unajokula wale maboy wadogo wadogo pia, kujeni hapa. 
na hizo mangombe, mambuzi, zile zilikuwa sasa ziko active active kujeni. Fanyeni hivi nyinyi mfuate tu hiyo root pia. Endeni mtawapata. Alafu pia ikifika tu pale kwa ile nini? Msimame hapo pamoja na wao tunawafuata. We, kuja hapa. Hena na wao. Kirimi. Wendo una lead hii gang so. Endeni tunawafuata. Shop. Wakaenda. Eh hey, akaanza kuona sasa kijiji imebaki empty wacha ende aonge na wale wasi. Akaenda akawaambia eh hey, watu wangu fanyeni hivi. Ah niongezeeni siku zingine mbili tu tunarudi tutakuja kuwaletea. So mkiona kuna activities huko kwetu zina happen. Mjui nini? Tunachoma nywele za watu, tuna, tumenywa hao mademu wote tunachoma nywele kwa unaona hiyo black hiyo cold itashikilia hizo hizo spia so itakuwa strong. So mkiona kuna smoke huko mjue hiyo ndio function. So tunafanya hiyo stuff kambe nyie ndeni basi sawa so akambiwa sawa waenda tu bora mimi unlete mkuki usipie iko hapa unapaka you go so akarudi nyumbani akambia mauri afanyeni hivi nimeshaomba ruhusa so tumepatiwa two days hii two days lazima tujipange pange sasa ndio tufuate wale wase alafu after that tutakuwa safe if in the freedom tukao tunatafuta so lazima tujipange pange so akawaambia fanyeni hivi kesho tukiamka asubuhi amkieni muanze kuchoma hizo manyumba zenye zina watu itakaa kama like kula wale walikuwa yani tume struggle nao sana mpaka tuliwamaliza tuliwamada so hata julikana wako wapi itakuwa tu tuliwachoma kwa manyumba ndio sisi wachache tu tu wa on this day. so alikuwa na group yake kama warriors so akajipanga asubuhi kuamka wakachoma manyumba so kulikuwa na ile smoke nye aliambia the red people so tayari wale wasio walikuwa naangalia wanasema ah hey, these people are working <laughs> soon we shall be the ones with the spear so wacha waendelee kukazana kwa management yao wakangangana wakajipanga so waka, wakaona sasa tufanye hivi kwa sababu imebaki tu wande wacha niende niwaone tena ndio tupate at least akanadha extra tuone kama tutaweza sasa wafuata so wadao komenjo akarudi akaenda kuongelesha tena the red people akaenda kwambia eh boss it is coming along very well but now we might need just tomorrow evening ikifika kesho kutoka saa tisa hivi mkuje so itakuwa ready itakuwa ready kuchukua mkuja tu kusimamisha Ah red people are gonna okay. Oh okay. Sawa so, you go ahead. Go do it. He wakakimbia. Kwa mimi njoo akaenda akaambia warriors wake it is time. So kumbuka group 1 ilikuwa na the weak people, the sick people and the old people. Group 2 ilikuwa na women and children. Alafu group 3 ma warriors. So alikuwa ready akawaambia sasa twendeni. Nayo nayo tungeve twende kwa sababu watakuja kututafuta kesho ndo tu nimewaambia kesho saa tisa wanafaa kwa hapo kwa kijiji so wakachoma zile nyumba zingine zilikuwa zimebaki tike tike waka left walienda wakifuatana 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 group 1 ilifika group 2 ilifika a day later na hiyo group 3 ikafika so the next day at around 3 pm jamaa wakaenda ma red people wako like ah sasa twendeni tupewe pewa Ufika hivi. <laughs> eh hey, hey, wamechezwa. Sema kuchezwa. Wamechezwa. People were not there. Kijiji ilikuwa flat. Everything burned. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing was there. Zile tu vijiti zenye zilikuwa zimeshikanishwa mara ya fast na zilikuwa zimebaki. Wow 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 wow. You can imagine msemreda kijam. Sasa atakuwa kala. Sijui ni maruna mapapo. I don't know. ready to something wamejam yake yote akarudisha watu wake huko akawaambia twendeni tujipange these guys you gonna follow them and you gonna find them watajua wajui hmm. kwa menjo nao kufika hivi huko kwa sasa yeye na mauriaz wake walienda wakafika kufika tu hivi kwa mali alikuwa amewaambia wangoje <sighs> ilikuwa like the test of freedom wanaona tu kimaji it's just water body a large one just there wamefika or they are tired But yes, alipofika hivi ai 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 being a leader is hard wadau. Wanapata eh watu wake ni wagonjwa. Like kuna magonjwa inaongelelewa hapo. Kuna watu wana die. People are dying. People are tired, some are sick. Ai was stressed. Problem after another after another man. Ai. Hii ilikuwa tu ina prove kwa hard. Well, kwa menjo akaangalia kashindo sasa what do we do? Ai. Anyways, 
walipokuwa tu wanaendelea hivi unajua sasa kwa zile groups elders kuna wale kuna ma prophets wengine nini nini so aka aka approach one of the other prophets anaitwa Mugwe Mugwe akamwambia aka eh man mimi mimi naona itabidi tu tufanye sacrifice cause god ni kama yuko hapi na na watu wetu there's something that we've done that we need to appease the gods so Mugwe akamwambia sawa ah uh, mimi vile ninaona we need to sacrifice three people yeah um once we sacrifice these three people we will be okay and we will be safe to go okay apparently according to the uh, meru uh, merian myth kulikuwa na two types of sacrifices that komenjo alikuwa lazima zifanywe ya kwanza ni hiyo sasa mugwe mugwe alimwambia sacrifice three people once you've sacrificed three people it will be okay with the gods you guys can now cross the sea the water and just go and you'll be okay hey hapa kulikuwa kumeumana but anyways Komenjo went back to his people and asked my people it itabidi tufanye hivi because you guys are dying it is sad i don't know what is happening but we need to sacrifice three, three people and then tutakuwa sawa so please people who wants to be sacrificed please let's just come on guys it should take one for the team so um among those people that agreed to be sacrificed was his brother yeah one of them was his brother anaitwa Gaita Gaita akasema i'm ready so akauliza he uh, guys uh, who else who else feels like you know you're just taking one for the t- team ah jamaa mwingine hapa akasema kiuma akasema pia mimi niko tayari like uh, my people is that okay like i can you know? so waka agree akauliza tena kia ah mudhetu mudhe ah mudhetu so ah akapata the three people akasema sawa guys ah uh, it's okay let's do this sacrifice so watu wakaokota kuni wakaweka wakatengeneza ile platform ya sacrifices haka sacrifice wadau and he was told now you're okay and you're ready to go so shika hii shika hii akapatiwa spear kamba shika hii this one mkifika tu mali mnaenda ku divide hiyo maji fanya hivi na mtapita hai okay komenjwe was okay with the whole idea akakuwa ready but still watu wana die ako sawa ameona amefanya sacrifices na hata amepatwa spear and everything but some things are just not working ako na this something maybe walikula ama kitu kama hiyo labda afanye nini so akauliza uliza hivi pia kuna akasema eh guys i know i need to check kwa intestines ndio niweze kujua ni nini inaweza kwenda uwa so please one of you sacrifice yourself mtu mmoja katenu akuje we'll just do the surgery and everything but Hey, if it was like dude <laughs> no no gonna be me stuff like that but anyways kuna mmoja alisema i will i am ready so he yeah, akakuja aka aka akaitwa eh hey, mama fulani kuja kuje na nini ya kushona mwingine kujeni mtengeneze place mtamlalisha wengine you know kujeni na maziwa nini nini ya kosha intestines <coughs> so every people just wali agree kukuwa na yeye kufanya hiyo sacrifice hiyo kufanya hiyo nini uh, surgery wakaenda wakamlalisha akakatwa tumbo hivi vizuri eh kuingia kwa intestines ndio sasa kulikuwa maneno ndio akaona eh kuna wadudu kuna nini kuna nini ndio akajua what has been killing his people was nothing to do with the sacrifice no but that is how smart komenjwe was so by the way um say mwenye alifanywa hiyo surgery tuite tu surgery haku die do you know he did not die like intestines ilioshwa na zikarudishwa na wakam stitch back This guy was late, later named Murorua. Murorua sasa ndo jina alipatiwa after you know cuz he kind of saved these people. Sasa walikuwa na clear knowledge. Sasa Komenjo alikuwa anajua na deal na nini. Akakumbuka alipatiwa ile tick. So akafanya akaongea na watu wake akasema okay my people now tuko ready. Uh, Nimeshajua ni nini ilikuwa issue and now we are ready to go. So people started gathering themselves but they're looking at him like hey, dude tunapita wapi hii ni maji like there's no like any other place we can go like this is what if we go through this we're gonna die but you know you are a prophet you are a person so we kind of will follow you so yeah you go ahead uh, do you so the guy komenjo amesimama kachukua ile stick alikuwa amepatiwa akafanya tu hivi magic my friend maji iligawanyika i know what you're thinking so shwa water parted and then akamwambia haya twendeni 
akaacha watu wapite watu wakapita by the it was clear 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 mpaka mwisho watu walipita wote wote what he was the last person to leave that is the kind of leader he was like yeye yeah, anaangalia tu huku hakuna wase lakini mkumbuke red people walikuwa wamesema wanafanya nini he wanawafuata wako tu hapa nyuma yao they are looking for them you know they are furious they are everything so pia walikuwa stale tu wanafikia hivi katikati nao pia ndio wameanza kuingia kwa maji kwa ile parted nini maji iko huku like inanikumbusha tu like maji maji barabara you know there is a song i love singing uh, kijito cha utakaso guardian angel it kinda makes me you know so wamekuja eh hey, saile nani ametani hivi kwa major by, by the time these guys were pitying hapo kwa hiyo maji kwa major alikuwa ameshapatwa jina nyingine yeah kwa major alikuwa anaitwa kwa major alikuwa amepatwa jina nyingine alikuwa anaitwa mudhurui yeah mudhurui so mudhurui alikuwa anaangalia hivi nyuma anaona wasi wanakuja na ambia wasi tu nini hurry up guys let's go let's go let's go ah walifika mpaka mwisho ah wasi now ndio how red people kwa maji kufika tu hivi mwisho he turns back ah akafanya tua maji karudi i know what you're thinking i know most of you are now perusing the bible and thinking okay uh, uh, okay okay aha uh-huh. mm-hmm. walifika maji cash red people wako huko maji maji they are dying they are rolling maji didi didi ha do you know if you ask the meru people where they their origin is from they will tell you they are from boa boa literally is you know now the water body so walipo turn cuz apparently the three groups za 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 wameru zina, some people say believe that zimetoka hapo kwa vile walikuja waki travel as three groups alafu the nine clans vile walikuja waki divide waki cross kwa ile maji so i don't know for sure which is which but walipofika mwisho and the water ili collapse back and the red people you know were, drow- were drowning and they died kwa ile maji these guys apparently ilikuwa around uh, sunrise so unaona ile reflection ya kajua kale ka asubuhi kana ka red red hivi ni nini nini so when they all turned to look at the water the water was red so sasa hiyo kwao ilikuwa waka name red sea in, uh, in meru they called it iria itune yeah so uh, i'm sure most of you are asking themselves the connection between the red sea the meru people the bible and you know all that so i don't know for sure what connection they have but yeah so if you ask any meru person where they originated from they'll tell you iriaitune or mbawa i'm sure most of you are trying to connect this story yeah the meru origin the particular story that i've given you to the old testament red people red sea you know parting water and all that eh <sighs> well hata mimi nimelearn ile tu kitu moja na just jawaambia ni origin ya mira mogoka mira hata mimi sijui but i think me and my team wadau si tutaenda ku check tutaenda kutafuta tafuta tafuta ndio tujue kile tutakuja kuambia so wacheni tukafanye research mambo ya mira alafu tutakuja tu hapa tena nkaulele kuwapatia the same story about this meru people na mambo ya mira na mambo pia ya speed ya gari you know mhm yeah ah yeah watu wangu wa nyumbani well we have come to the end of our story and i really hope that you have learned something about the meru community I personally have learned and so has my Kaulele team. So, wadau, maybe kuna kitu moja ama mbili nimekosea ama sijataja. Kama iko, make sure umeteremka hapo chini kwa comments, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to research and correct it or to research and work on it. Otherwise, it has been awesome. This has been Kaulele TV. Alla, alla.